the snow show.
Whenever flowers bloom on the walls of my room when I sing my song. Yeah, how to go, maybe? Yeah, all right. I can drive away the gloom, uh -huh. bring the sun into my room yeah. when I sing my song. Come on, Hamilton. And when it's dark and there's no light in my lonely room at night, I just sing and soon it seems. <laughs> yes. Well, there's moonbeams spilling through the window when I sing my song. Paper flowers bloom on the walls of my room when, when I, I sing my song. All right, now come on. I can drive away the gloom, bring the sun into my room when I sing my song. And when it's dark and there's no light in my lonely room at night, I just sing and soon it sings. There's moonbeams spilling through the window when I sing my song. He's got it now. <laughs> I love that piggy piggy. Oh, oh yes. Well done, Woo! Hamilton. Oh wee! That was fun. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> School days. Maggie, Maggie. Dadley, you must put your hand up and wait for me to ask you if you wish to speak. Oh, excuse me. I'll do as you say. Are we going to take turns teaching today? No. You are the students. I am the teacher. Yes, Nedley. Maggie is smarter than we are. Besides, she's got the hat. Beast, if you have something to say, please put up your hand. Oops, I'm sorry. Yes, Beast? Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, class. Please pay attention. First, we're going to have arithmetic. Let's pretend I have one pumpkin muffin in each hand. How many pumpkin muffins do I have? Yes, Hamilton? I just wanted to know if they're my pumpkin muffins. Of course, Hamilton. But how many do I have? Beast, do you have the answer? No, but if they're Hamilton's pumpkin muffins, you won't have them for long. I'll eat them up. Thank you, Beast. You're welcome, Hamilton. <sighs> Nedley, do you have the answer? I want you to know I'm starting to pout. Why can't we use carrots so I don't feel left out? That's not fair, Nedley. You're the only one who likes carrots. <sighs> Rudy, if I have one pumpkin muffin in this hand and one in this hand, do you know how many I have? Well, of course. One and one is two. Very good, Rudy. Hooray! 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 Now let's go on. Suppose I have two pumpkin muffins in this hand and one in this hand. How many do I have? Yes, Beast? All this talk about food is making me hungry. May we have a snack? I think that would be a good idea. Yes, Hamilton? I, I just wanted to know if I could pass out the snacks. Yes, you may. I don't mean to complain, but if you want to fly, you'll need a new plane. Class, now finish your snacks. 
and then we'll put our heads down on our desks and have a little bit of a rest. <laughs> All right, class. You may raise your heads now. I'm passing out paper. I would like each of you to draw a picture. Um, excuse my paw, but what kind of picture would you like us to draw? You may draw anything you like. I drew a pie. That's really a very interesting picture, Hamilton. Thank you. Yes, but what kind of pie is it? I don't know. What does it matter? You can't see under the golden crust. It matters to me. How can I tell if I like it when I don't know what kind it is? <laughs> what kind would you like it to be, Beast? Blueberry. Blueberry it is. Who would like to be next? Nedley? What is it? Why can't you see? It's a carrot, my friend. What else could it be? Where is it? Under the ground. That's where they grow. Under the ground. Now you know. You made that very nice sky. Thank you, Rudy. That's kind of you. I have to say, I like colouring with blue. Rudy, let's see your picture. What do you think? It's coloured very nicely, Rudy. But what is it? It's a picture of the beast. My paper was too small, so I only had room enough to do one of his spots. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Beast, let's see your picture. It's a plate of Hamilton's pumpkin muffins. I'm sorry, but this cannot wait. I have to say, I only see the plate. I ate all the muffins. You <laughs> <laughs> all did very well. Now we're going to work on your table manners, and we're going to start with a formal tea. That sounds nice. Oh, wow. Great. Hamilton, will you please make a part of your delicious blueberry tea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hamilton, you may pour. <laughs> it looks delicious, Hamilton. Thank you. Sugar? One lump, please. Thank you. One lump for me, please. Thank you. One lump will do. Oh, that's enough, thank you. Six lumps, please. Well, I like a little tea with my sugar. <laughs> thank you. Hamilton? All right, everyone. Pick up your spoon and carefully stir your tea. Now, pick up your cup with the saucer and take a sip. <coughs> Hamilton, that's very good. The rest of you, please take silent sips. When you are sharing tea with a few friends, you should enjoy interesting conversation. I can't remember when I've enjoyed a cup of tea so much. Well, it isn't just the tea. It's also the friends you share it with. That is so true. <gasps> I do believe I just heard the bell. Yep, that was definitely the bell. School's out! The Nowhere Land Parade. Hmm. Maybe we could have a big dance, Hamilton, and wear pointy hats. That's what we did for Nowhere Land Day last year. And it was fun. You spilled that punch bowl on me. And it was fun. I was sticky all day. I said sorry. We're doing something different this year. Hmm. What if I wrote a poem and recited it to everyone? <laughs> it's once again that time of year to welcome friends from far and near. We'll join together and give a cheer. Nowhere Land Day is finally here. Hmm. What do you think? I think I'd rather wear a pointy hat instead. Hello. 
Happy Noel Land Day, Maggie. Maggie, are we going to do something special today? Yes, we are. I thought of a really good idea. What is it? I like good ideas. A parade! A Nowhere Land Day parade! Oh boy, a parade! Well, that's a great idea! And I know the perfect marching song! Maggie, I think he's getting his trombone. Yes, he is. What should we do? I'll give Hamilton a very important job. That's good. Thanks, Hamilton. Would you like to try? Oh, really? All right. <gasps> That's the idea. I'm doing it. Look. I think you could lead the parade, Hamilton. I think so, too. What can I do, Maggie? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe I could help lead the parade, too. Oh, Beast! Sorry. Oh, Beast. We'll think of something. What this parade needs is a marching band. Okay, Jelly Beans. Pay attention to Hamilton. He's your band leader. Hamilton, give them a marching beat. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Tuba. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Trumpet. Flute. Clock and spiel. All right, Hamilton, lead the way. a big idea. Sorry. Hmm. Something is missing. Maybe we need more colour. My spots have colour. I love a parade. Simply marvellous. Oh, this is just too much. I love it. Mo, 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 mo. I think the parade needs more colour. Like more yellow and red. Hamilton! Let's go to the River of Dreams. We'll do, Maggie. I could have been a clown, too. That's terrific, Nadley. I have to say, with great surprise, this parade is wonderful, a treat for the eyes. Mm, you'd think so, but something is still missing. Ho-ho! Ho-ho-ho! Hello, Scotty Dog! I love a parade! And in case it goes on too long, I brought this grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Goodbye, little ones. <laughs> Welcome to the desert. What's your hurry? 
Hamilton? Well, we've paraded all over, and I'm not sure where to go now. We've really been everywhere? Uh-huh. If we've been everywhere, does that mean our parade is over? I didn't get to do anything. Our parade can't be over yet. It still feels like there's something missing. I don't see what it could be, Maggie. Everyone in Nowhere Land is in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm on, I'm on. Yeah. That's it. I know what's missing. What? A float. Every parade needs a float. Oh, a float. Beast, how would you like to be decorated? <gasps> All over. Even my horns. Yes, you'll make a perfect float. <laughs> Maggie, I'm in Nowhere Land Day Queen. Do I look like a real parade float? You make the best parade float ever, Beast. <laughs>